children for more than a century, closing its doors. 16 WABT's Bert Case went to Port Gibson to find out why school's out for good at Chamberlain Hunt Academy. The school was started here in the First Presbyterian Church of Port Gibson back in 1879 and later moved to its current campus just south of Port Gibson, where it survived the Great Depression and two world wars. But after all of that, it's not able to recruit a sufficient number of paying students to allow it to be financially viable. The tuition was steep, about $25,000 a year. A statement put out by school president Jim Montgomery said, as alternatives are explored and decisions are made, the trustee will make the Chamberlain Hunt community and the public aware of the plan. Headmaster Wesley McClure summed it up this way. We're very saddened. Uh, it's a great school that's done a lot for a lot of Mississippians and, and boys all over the country and the world. And so we're, uh, we're sad, but we know that in God's providence, he has something planned for the school and uh, that nothing can replace the blessings the people who came here received. Reverend Michael Heron, pastor of the First Presbyterian Church of Port Gibson, the one with the finger on top of the steeple pointing to heaven, feels confident a way will be found for the school to have a future. It's disappointing. We're all trying to put a good face on it. We're all trying to, you know, move on. But we are trusting the Lord that he is going to do something good out of all of this. So 2014 is the end of Chamberlain Hunt Academy, a school that at one time had as many as 300 students here. They were down to four for this coming fall, and that's not enough to operate. For Case 16, WAPT News, Port Gibson.